paper is now open for this. From the DHDN of Kinoli. The author of the papers are Sonia S. Bau, L. Van Luitsen, J. Bormon, B. H. J. De Beer, and R. Prince. And Dr. S. Bau will be presenting the paper.
that time the stream was 24 to 48 hours. The steady state was usually reached about eight hours on stream. After that, we kept the catalyst for another 10 hours at the same conditions. And after that, we started to change the conditions, temperature, total pressure, and the liquid hour space velocity. In this study, I will show you only the results at steady state. Well, I think that you are all familiar with the quinolin HDN reaction network, so I will show it only shortly. It's, I think, the most favorite HDN test reaction, <coughs> as it includes all the important reaction steps of hydro treatment, as is the hydrogenation of the nitrogen containing ring, hydrogenation of benzene ring, ring opening reactions. And finally, the removal of the heteroatom pi, or hydrogenolysis, or elimination. Well, the main reaction pathway of quinoline HGN is supposed to go from quinoline to 1 to 3, 4 tetrahydroquinoline, which is further hydrogenated to decahydroquinoline, which undergoes ring opening reaction on the formation of propylcyclohexylamine, which is readily converted to hydrocarbons, propylcyclohexane, hydrogenolysis product or propylcyclohexene, which is an elimination product. Propylcyclohexene can react further to propylbenzene. Under the reaction conditions, propylcyclohexane and propylbenzene, as well as these four nitrogen-containing compounds, should be in time dynamic of equilibrium. Well, this reaction network is very nice, as it includes all these steps that we wanted to check for each catalyst. But the problem is that it's very difficult to calculate well, the reaction rate constants for all these separate steps. Well, in this short talk, I would like to characterize the catalyst therefore very simply, just by the HDN conversion that we have defined as the sum of concentrations of hydrocarbon in the final reaction mixture, by concentration of orthopropyl aniline in the reaction mixture that we use as a measure for ring opening capacity <coughs> of the catalyst, Further, by the product distribution in a group of hydrocarbons and nitrogen compounds. And of course, we can always take a look at the amount of byproducts in the final reaction mixture that we use as a measure for cracking and isomerization activity of the catalysts. Well, we of course tested also the catalytic properties of alumina support and phosphorus containing alumina support and of nickel and nickel phosphorus on alumina catalyst but we saw that these had almost no HDN activity and there were also just very small changes of the selectivity of these catalysts upon addition of phosphorus. And this first sheet I would like to show you the results of the two molybdenum catalysts. The red one is the phosphorus free the blue one is the phosphorus containing catalyst. Well, we can see that there were almost no changes of the HDM conversion. Also, the orthopropylanilin selectivity was almost unchanged. There was some increase in the cracking and isomerization activity of these catalysts in the presence of phosphorus. In a group of hydrocarbons, we can see that very interestingly, the selectivity for the full <coughs> hydrogenated product, propylcyclohexane, decreases, and those for propylbenzene and propylcyclohexene increase in the presence of phosphorus. In the group of nitrogen compounds, there are just minor changes, and I will talk only about these changes that come back with each couple of the catalysts, and that slight increase of decahydroquinoline selectivity and decrease of 1, 2, 3, 4 decahydroquinoline selectivity. Well, indeed, in the next sheet, you can see that similar changes we have also observed for nickel molybdenum catalysts. This is a couple of two nickel molybdenum catalysts with rather high nickel molybdenum ratio of about 0.7. And we can see that the HDN conversion increases very strongly in the presence of phosphorus. There are no changes of orthopropylanin and selectivity of the ring opening capacity of the catalyst, and there is just slight increase of the production of byproducts of the cracking and isomerization capacity. Even so, there was such a big increase of the HDN activity 
we have found that the selectivity for propyl cyclohexane decreased and those for propyl benzene and propyl cyclohexane again increased with HDN conversion and with the addition of phosphorus. In the group of nitrogen compounds, we find again slight decrease of 1, 2, 3, 4 beta-hydroquinone selectivity and slight increase of beta-hydroquinone selectivity. Co-chairman with uh, Mario Chelli on this session.